morning, good morning, good morning. We want to welcome you to Faith Coast Community Church, 143 North Cross Road in Brooklyn, New Jersey. We're excited about what the Lord is doing in the life of the church. So we welcome you here today on this first Sunday in the month of March. Come on in and have church with us. God bless you. so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. March the 7th, 2021. Faith, family, and friends, 40 nights of prayer held 
nightly at 6.30 p.m. with the exception of Sunday evenings and Fridays is held at 7 p.m. Again, 7 p.m. on Fridays and Sundays, with the exception of Sundays, we will not have the prayer. Also, our weekly Bible study held on Wednesday evenings at 6.30. If you would like to join us for either, please message us below and we will send you the link and the password. On Tuesday, the March, March the 9th, we will have a, our joint board meeting at 6.30 p.m. This concludes our announcements for today. Have a wonderful and blessed day.
and death could not hold you down. You are the risen king. Come on, how many of you know this morning we serve a risen king? giving all possible honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. Thank you for that reminder this morning that not even death could hold you down. King, seated in majesty. They said, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, we're just excited to be in this place this morning. We're excited on this first Sunday in the month of March. We were talking earlier about this is right about the time when they were making announcements this time last year on shutdowns and how this virus was beginning to take effect all over the United States. And we were getting ready to have our last indoor service at the church. And here we are a year later, still dealing with this pandemic. But how do you know we still serve a risen Savior? He's still seated in majesty. That's why we can say this morning, hallelujah, which is the highest praise. Amen. Perfectly, I won't be for you too long this morning. I'm going to give you what the Lord has given me, and then I'm going to get out of your way. 1 Peter, the 5th chapter, verses 8 and 9. 1 Peter, the 5th chapter, verses 8 and 9. I'm going to look at it a little differently on today. 1 Peter, the 5th chapter, verses 8 and 9. 1 Peter the fifth chapter, verses eight and nine. It reads like this. I'm reading from the King James Version. It says, verse eight says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Verse nine says, resist him, steadfast in the faith, 
knowing that the same sufferings are experienced both by your brotherhood in the world. The word of God. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask this morning that you decrease these and increase you on today. Lord, somebody needs to hear a word from you. So Lord, I thank you in advance for both what you're going to do and what I'm going to say in this place. So I thank you. And I bless your name. It is in your name we pray. Amen. This, this text today is, is, is two small verses, but, but very powerful in words. I, I don't want to scare anybody this morning. So, 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 so from the start, let's, let's get this one thing straight. And I, I have to let everybody know, uh, uh, for those of you that don't know and or you didn't know, but Satan does not like you. I'm not sure if there was any better way to say it. I could have said he, he hates you, especially if you're a believer, especially if you're a child of God. Satan is your sworn enemy. And, and yes, his, his hatred for our Father, which is in heaven, runs deep. So why then would it run deep for us? Remember, our Father banished Satan at one time from heaven. And one day will sentence him to the lake of fire. So to me, it only makes sense that Satan would go after those who are believers. After all, remember, Satan can't touch God, which is our Father. So let me ask you a question this morning. How many of you know your enemies by name? Not the names you call them when they're around, but, but, but by their name. This enemy we're talking about this morning, the one we're talking about today, he goes by many names. In this text, he uses the word Satan or uses the word devil, which means false accuser or slanderer. Anybody know him by that name? Today, for my time this morning, I just want to come to you from this thought. A sound mind makes a sound body. A sound mind makes a sound body. This text, this text starts off by saying it reminds us to be sober. Then it tells us to be vigilant. Or in the NIV version, it says to be alert or to be of sober mind. A sound mind says to be sober, be alert. I, I know I'm talking to some of you this morning that have been saved for a long time. So, so let me talk to somebody who's ever had just a little bit to drink in their life. I'm not talking about that communion wine either. I'm, I'm talking about the ones that used to carry that little brown bag around. And, and, and you know, some of you call it that, that, that good stuff. Y'all remember, if you think back far enough, I, let, me, let me get back to my point here. See, when we would drink this stuff, it would make our minds start to think differently. See, the text today isn't talking about being physically sober, but it's talking about being spiritually sober. See, we as Christians have to be aware of what's going on around us spiritually. But how many of you know that Satan will have you seeing double? They talk about double-minded Christians. Yes. Satan will have you saying things that you ordinarily wouldn't say. Doing things that you ordinarily wouldn't do. And yeah, I, I, I know none of us, none of you have ever been there. I think, I, I think back in the day we used to call them beer muscles. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Anybody ever have one of them friends that any time they would get drunk, they thought they could just beat everybody up, yeah. knowing that one well they couldn't fight their way out of a wet paper bag? <laughs> Saints, we have to be sober. We have to be alert to the spiritual pitfalls of the devil. Amen. A sober mind. A sober mind is a sober body. But look at what the text says next. It says, because you're, that would be you, and, 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 and that would be me. It says, because your adversary, the devil, 
walks about like a roaring lion. I need, I, I need to park right there. It says, seeking whom he may devour. I don't know if you've ever watched any of those uh, 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 shows on, on uh, TV, but it used to show about the uh, enemy of prey. And it would show how the lion lurks, just walking about, seeing where he was going to get his next meal. They used to show a little hyena or a little animal out in the field by itself, just minding his own business, just walking around thinking everything was okay. And then the next thing you know, here comes the lion springing out of nowhere. That's exactly what Satan does. When you're going around day to day thinking everything is all right, the next thing you know, here comes problems. Here comes issues. Here comes Satan. I told you in the beginning, Satan does not like you. He put it plain and simple. He said, your adversary, meaning he's not your friend. The devil is looking to see just who he can devour. That means to take out completely. So don't look surprised. He already told us that he was coming and what he was coming to do. The Bible says Satan only comes to do three things. That steal, kill, and destroy. And he's walking around seeking. That means looking for you. The text says walking around prowling. He's always moving, going from place to place just like the lion. He knows the exact time to move in for the kill. Anybody know what I'm talking about this morning? Just when you thought everything was looking good, just when you thought things were starting to turn around and go your way, here comes old Slewfoot, Beelzebub, Satan, or whatever name you want to use today. Just like the lion, he sneaks right on in. But how many of you know we need some of those things that they used in the army. So as you see, I'm a little bit familiar with these things. We used to have these things called night vision goggles that allows you to see clearly at night just like it is during the day. So those things that are in the dark will soon be seen in the light. Y'all get that later, y'all. Y'all will get that a sound mind, a sound mind to be sober, to be vigilant, I told you a sound mind makes a sound body. But how many of you know you have to protect your body? Mm -hmm. Verse 9 tells us to resist him. It says steadfast in your faith. I thank God that in, in this church, in this 40 days of, of uh, prayer with uh, faith, family, and friends, we were just told the other night that faith stands for Father all into thy hands. And I thank God for that because I can hear it now. Somebody saying, Pastor, you, you just don't understand. You don't get it. I'm trying to resist. But everywhere I go, this joker keeps on following me. Everywhere I go, here he comes. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. Peter doesn't say, go looking for a fight with Satan. That's not what he said. But at the same time, he didn't say to be filled with fear either. He said to be alert and of a sound mind. So when the attack comes, you'll be ready for the fight. Amen. James 4 and 7, it says, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Yeah, I know, I, I know that's easier said than done when you're going through. You're telling me to to be alert, you're, you're sitting here telling me to be, to be sober. I know resistance and I know watchfulness can be difficult at times, so, so how do I resist? See, this is why I like the, the NIV version puts it this way. It says, because you know the family of believers. It says that throughout the world is going through the same kind of sufferings. How many of you know that you're not the only one going through? 
You're not the only one having some difficulties, having some situations and some circumstances right now. Every believer is going through something. But let me tell you, like I heard the other day, there's this famous, famous poet. This famous poet that we all know, and he's a great poet, and his name is Michael Jackson. He said, you are not alone. And God said, I am here with you. Yeah, Pastor, that all sounds good. Now, can you tell me what you're talking about? Glad you said that because I absolutely can. In order to protect your sound mind and your sound body, you're going to have to carry something else. Pastor, you don't get it. I have all I can carry right now. I can't carry anything else. But how about what it says to do in Ephesians 6 and 11? Look, you already know you're in a fight. You already know the devil don't play fair. So why not prepare yourself right now? Ephesians 6 and 11 says, put on the whole armor of God. told us to be sober. The text told us to be alert because like it or not, it said your adversary, the devil, it says he's walking around like a lion, seeking to find who he may, may devour. He's looking for you. But Peter gave us our our warning. Now he tells us what to do. He says, resist him. He says to be steadfast in your faith. Basically, Peter is saying, know who you belong to. The next time you're going through, just to remind the devil, just say, devil, you can't touch this. So you must not know who my father is. Just if you want to tell him like Beyonce, just tell them like Beyonce said, you must not know about me. You must not know about me. You must not know who I belong to. You must not know who my father is. My father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. A sound mind makes a sound body. So Satan, you must not know who I belong to. Then he comforts us. He says, hey, he says, you're not alone. He said, we're all going through this together. He said, but in order to make it through, you have to have a sound mind. And in return, you'll have a sound body. Because a sound mind makes a sound body. He said to be sober, to be alert. See, I just came by this morning to let Satan know that, Satan, you can't have me or anything that belongs to me. Satan, everything you stole from me, God is returning to me. Everything back to its rightful owner. I'm taking back my joy. I'm taking back my peace. I'm taking back my health. I'm taking back my finances. I'm taking back everything that you stole from me. I'm taking it back. A sound mind makes a sound body. Saints of God, we have to be sober. Spiritually, we have to be vigilant. The text says because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Resist him. Fight him. It says steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood that are in the world. Faith. Father, all into thy hands. A sound mind makes a sound body. Today, Lord, I'm saying yes to your will. I'm saying yes to your way. Lord, whatever you want from me. Lord, if nobody else will go, 
70. A sound mind makes us sound body. Over this last year, we've all been experiencing this pandemic. We've all been going through some things. We see the U.S. has gone over 500,000 deaths from this virus. But if God woke you up this morning, you have something to give God praise for. I know we may not have all our bills paid. I know everything may not be going your way right now. But if you have breath in your body, you have something to give God praise for this morning. If God woke you up and allowed you to put the right, right shoe on the right foot, and the left shoe on the left foot, and get up and start your day. You have something to give God praise for. He said we need to be sober and be vigilant because there's a fight that is your way. But the Bible also told us to put on the whole armor of God. And we came to stand against the wild of the devil. See, I often have to remind myself Steve, you need to be sober. You need to be vigilant. You have to be paying attention to everything that's going on. Because your adversary, the devil, is walking around. He's trying to take and destroy everything that Faith Fellowship Community Church has built up over the last year. But when you have a sound mind, you can have a sound body. And you can tell Satan today, get thee behind me, Satan. You can't have my family, you can't have my church, you can't have my mind, you can't have my finances, because the sound mind makes a sound body. There might be one today that's listening online to us today and not saved, you're not sure that you're saved. You've been going through some things. God is just reminding you this morning to get your mind right. Have your mind stay on him. Hold on to God's hands. God's unchanging hands. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Resist him. Steadfast in the faith. Today, hold on. Don't give up now. Now's not the time to give up. Hold on just a little bit longer. Again, if you're not saved, you're not sure that you're saved today is your day of salvation. If today you want to give your life to Christ, just type in there and send a message to us at the church. Today, Pastor Steve, I want to give my life to Christ. If that's you, just message me in there. Hold on. Don't give up now because a sound mind makes a sound body. If you're looking for a place to call home and you want to make faith promise the community church your home, just message us in there. We will get in touch with you. You're not saved. You're not sure that you're saved. You're looking for a place to call home. And you want to make faith tell us if you're in church or home. Just message us in there. And we will welcome you with open arms. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, somebody today needs something from you. They needed the reminder to be, to be sober. To continue to be vigilant. Because of the attacks of the devil. Thank you for reminding us to resist him, to stay steadfast in our faith. So, Lord, we thank you today. And like I tell you every week, it's easy as A, B, C, A is just admit that you are a sinner because the Bible says you are all born in the sin. That B is just believing that Jesus Christ died on the cross. But not only did he die on the cross, he got up again on that third day with all power in his hands. And C is just confessing. Lord, I want to make you the head of my life for the rest of my life. Think that's you. Just like me, I'm not to see I want to give my life to Christ. I want to make faith promise to the community church of my home. If that's you, just like that in your head. And remember, a sound mind makes a sound body. May God bless you and continue to smile upon you. God bless you. Thank you, everybody, for being with us today here at Faith Fellowship Community Church. We just appreciate you and we love you. We just want to remind you again of the Faith Fellowship and Friends 40 Day of Prayer. It's every night at 6 30, with the exception of Friday. Friday is at 7 and Sundays there is no prayer. Come on with us.
anything that you can pray about, come on with us. We'd love to have it. And like we always like to thank you for making all the people the church. Show me your faith without the verse, and I'll show you my faith by my work. Because here at Faith Fellowship Community Church, it takes two to make a thing go wrong. And don't forget, if you want to give, Faith Fellowship Community Church at Parker Ave, Roland, New Jersey, 08099, uh, I'm sorry, PO Box 105, Faith Fellowship Community Church, PO Box 105, 10 Parker Ave, Roland, New Jersey, or look us up on Give Them a Again, Faith Fellowship Community Church, it takes two to make a thing go right. We'll see you next Sunday. God bless you.